Daddy D, if it ain't going down at the Bunny Ranch, it ain't going down at all. It's going down, going down. Right. You could do some stunts or something. Standing oh, up. yeah. You know me. <laughs> and Tara, the stunt devil. <laughs> do it for Angelina Jolie. I'm just kidding. There you go. <laughs> I'm all. Okay. Welcome back to the Bunny Ranch Podcast. I'm James, and today we have a bunny. Not just any bunny. Pantera. If you guys don't know who Pantera is, I mean, she's sitting right here. So she's beautiful. Look at that. And like, she's just glowing right now. <laughs> so let's see. Thanks. But Pantera, thank you for coming on in. I appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little about yourself for those that don't know who you are. Uh, I'm Pantera. I work at Bunny Ranch and I've been here for quite some time. I'm known for gfe sessions kink sessions i'm um i'm a good mix of both so a lot of psc and gfe action going on with me so it, for the audience that might not know mm -hmm. so explain what psc and gfe are uh gfe is the girlfriend experience so a lot of uh a lot of kissing a lot of touching um kissing all over each other's bodies kind of thing we take our time uh, PSE is more of the wild side, so what you see in porn normally. I'm not actually a porn star, but I can definitely show you a good experience. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I mean, damn. <laughs> 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 there we go. Yeah. She's getting more com uh, comfortable now. Yes. All right. So um, you were telling me earlier that you're known as like the laid back bunny. I'm why, pretty why, sure. Why? Why? Why do you call yourself that? I I think I'm really down to earth, so um, I'm more into talking about everything. I kind of like to. I do like to take my time. I like to get to know my clients and stuff like that. So it's never, it's never a rush. It doesn't. It feels real because it is real for me. I I like it. So I, I don't know. I like to take my time. I like to get comfortable with the other person. I like to get to know each other a little bit better. So it's never, it's not like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so let's, let's think back. Um, when you first start, I've asked a bunch of not just Bunny Ranch, I've asked Sagebrush, Kit Kat, you know, when you first came, like what brought you to the ranches? Like what, what was that motivation? And then what was that process like back then? Because everyone came at different times right. and eras. So uh, I came about 10 years ago. So I've been. Giggity. Yeah. Like I've been working <laughs> half of the year since then. Um, when I first started, it was a little bit different. It was more of a party house. So like the kind of stuff that you see like on Cat House, it was exactly how I thought it would be. <laughs> a lot of naked girls everywhere running around. Uh, everyone was like dressed up in really like tall shoes and very shiny everyone was like they look like strippers like it was just a bunch of strippers <laughs> running around um it was a little bit different it was um it was a bit more busy so it was just all the time like i didn't really even have time in between clients and stuff like that uh the the reason why i came here though was because i used to watch the show and i remember my parents putting uh the lock thing, so I couldn't. Oh, the child yeah, lock. Yeah, yeah, the child lock, so I couldn't watch it. But I was really fascinated by the life, and I, I'm, I, I always knew I wanted to do this. So here I am, you know. Yeah, I always remember because um, I always remember their intro because mm -hmm. they always had that uh, that where it pulls up and the heels come out, and then you see, and like everyone always plays that like famous like. Like little clip of all the heels running down like all the news agencies do the same thing they all play the same exact clip for all sure. the heels running down the hallway mm -hmm. i mean that is bunny ranch like that when those bells go off yeah I mean, 
it was it was just like that and you know i was um i had a normal job for a really long time so uh when i came i didn't know how to walk in like six inch heels <laughs> and I, I if you've ever been to the bunny ranch at all you know that there's like that little ramp and it's for the wheelchair oops sorry um <laughs> and uh i've was like this, boop, 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 boop. like, you know, I just fell right down and, um, <laughs> and everyone was making fun of me and I just felt stupid, but, um, I ended up getting used to it, you know, and I, and now I walk in heels all the time. It feels weird when I'm wearing normal shoes. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of practice, <laughs> yeah. especially six inch heels. For sure. You're I mean, like, it's, it's like stilts, you know, I, I'd, I'd have a little difficulty running in them. Maybe you should I, try. I, I've, I've tried a few times, huh? you know, I can, I, yeah, maybe we'll have a race one day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I might win. Probably. Do circles around I'll you. Prob but, probably. But I'll I'll help you. I'll learn. I'll help you learn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can, um, if you can give yourself some advice, or like, or even people who are thinking about doing this industry, like when you look at what you know now okay. compared to what you knew back then when you first started, mm -hmm. what would be? Because I mean, you you've. You've been a big sister to girls before. You've yes. helped other girls out when they've come in and they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, what kind of advice would you really give someone who's like just fresh and like trying to figure out what to do? Uh, I would tell them to. I know it's scary at first because yeah, it's it doesn't seem that normal, but you're here because you want to be here. Yeah, uh, I would tell them that. Clients are a really big and important part of your life, and I think they're your friends, and they're gonna help you uh, grow, and they're gonna help you take care of yourself, and I think it's best to treat them with the utmost respect. And a lot of the girls here too, like, you know, we're so used to girls coming in and out, so we might not seem that friendly, <laughs> but but we uh, we are so friendly. We're just like we're all big hearted, and you know we're like we're a little bit guarded because we probably won't see you after your two weeks is up. But we we want to help and we want to teach everyone what we know. Uh, it's it seems harder than it is, but it's it's really not. Like the clients make it really easy for you too, because there's majority of the guys that come in here are nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and they care about you, and it's, it's. I think you should care about them too. It's not just you know, put it in me and then get out. Like you know, like <laughs> like you know, you gotta you gotta really like take your time and get to know these people, and they'll they'll really help you. Far, like yeah, get far. Yeah, I mean, I definitely. I mean, and anytime that anyone needs help, if they reach out to anyone. Right. Especially at Bunny Ranch, yeah. most of the girls, I, I, almost a huge majority of them, yeah. will always be super friendly and help out. Go, oh no, 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 you shouldn't do that. Or if they right. see it, they'll be like, hey, right. you know, maybe try it a little differently. Or yeah, we're all on the same I've seen team. That. Like you know, um, I I heard from other girls like that have come from like the strip club environment that it's a little bit more um, ruthless. Like yeah, ruthless, like competitive, yeah. like you know, a little bit chaotic. But here, like you know, we kind of keep to ourselves. We like to. We like to handle what we have to handle, but if you ask us any questions, like majority of the time, ninety percent of the time, they're gonna help you because we don't. We're all we're all on the same team. We're all on the same team, and we're all gonna have fun, and we're all gonna yeah. do everything. Like I think the one of the funnest experiences I had was me and like I want to say four other girls, and we all went to Las Vegas for like a week and a half, and I think hmm. that was uh, we worked together, and we were all having a blast, and we were all having a good time, and. That's what we want to keep going, like, you know, for everyone. <laughs> like, everyone just be happy and have fun, and I think that's important. Yeah, no, I mean, <clears throat> on anything like this, uh, always a team environment is always the best, so I definitely agree. Right, right. Yeah, no, don't worry. Come, all the new girls, come ask. Yep. Come ask away. Yeah. Love I mean, to help you, and we, we want to make sure all the guys that come in are treated well anyway, so... Yeah, and these days you have a lot more time um, to actually spend with your clients. Yeah. You know? It's not just because we're not busy, because we are busy. Right, no, we're it's, super busy. It's the fact that, you know, it's not like, you know, it, it's not as 
crazy every two seconds yeah it's now you book appointments you yeah. the internet changed a lot from what i've seen yeah it's, it's even the years i've been here it's changed i'm glad that it's changed like that you know like before it was just it was like a wham bam thank you ma'am kind of yeah thing. now it's we get to know each other we get to know what we like you know what do you want to do now we can go to dinner like you know we have more time and it's just so much better i think it's so much better <laughs> it is so much better well, yeah, because you can build that um, that kind of a, like a rapport, yeah, a rapport yeah, relationship yeah. with that client, mm -hmm. and that way, you know, you have a better experience. Because, you know, I I don't know about like you or anyone else, mm -hmm. but if I have a better relationship with someone like a rapport or anything, yeah, it makes it better in the bedroom or so in and, or even just hang out with friends. It makes it better because right. you know how each other's vibe goes, right. right? Right, and we can we can have a good time. We can relax. Like, yeah. it's not just, yeah, it's so much better. So much better than before. I love the way it is. <laughs> and um, I think a lot of the girls are so much happier with the way it is, too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, you are really good with makeup and hair. Yes. Like, super good. Thank you. Uh, so w what uh, brought on like all of that? Was that something you always were passionate about? Um, I know you were always like everyone always turns to you to go do their makeup and hair right. and certain and eyelashes, everything. So, you know, when I was growing up, I was uh, I was kind of a tomboy. So I like I played a lot of basketball. I was uh, I was just always trying to be one of the guys. Like, I remember that. And I, I think that's where like a lot of my personality comes in. Like once you get to know me, you're going to realize that I am one of the guys. Um, but I was. I was like that for a long time and I remember meeting a lot of friends and they were really into makeup and hair and I just did not get it. I, it didn't make any <laughs> sense to me. And uh, I'm, I'm my older friend, she ended up teaching me how to do my makeup the first time and ever since then, like when I knew I could improve or like, you know, like uh, just the way I look and I can, I can like doctor it to whatever I like, I, I mean, I fell in love. I went to beauty school, I wanted to be a barber or some time uh, when I'm not here, I'm a hairdresser. Uh, so yeah, I, I do love hair and makeup. And I love the whole glitz and glam kind of thing. The life, look, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> glamorous life, I like it all. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, cause it's a whole art form. Yeah. Uh, makeup, is, makeup and hair both are a huge art form cause For sure. especially in the last several years, it's been even more right. uh, like, shown off essentially around the world and the internet right. um, as an art form. Cause like you can't scroll through TikTok, you can't scroll through um, YouTube or Facebook or anything right. or Instagram without seeing some kind of makeup tutorial or someone showing off like this new makeup look. Right. Right. Um, and it's super cool to see cause it, it is super cool. And I love, like I love transforming people into like the, their best version of their self. Hmm. Like, I think I did uh, um, Mika. Mika, I yeah. did her makeup one time because she's a really natural girl, naturally pretty and everything. And I did her makeup and I like I was just like, oh, my God, you're so cute. Yeah. I was just, so, all over her. I was like, you are so cute. Let me take a picture. <laughs> you know, she's so pretty. And you never know, like, you know, just enhancing your beauty is always nice. Well, and it helps, too, because, I mean, it, it also builds that confidence because for someone who's never had that kind of transformation right like girls like, that are tomboys yeah. like me like i mean it yeah. just takes that one experience right yeah yes it, you didn't even know who you were <laughs> you know until you got a little bit of makeup on you <laughs> well i'll maybe i'll take you up on that uh, I, i'm I, pretty I'll, decent with makeup too myself i believe so. you i think i've, I've seen before. you yeah i think i've seen you dress <laughs> up a little bit i you had a wig the wig was kind of funny looking but yeah <laughs> I've done that a few times. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> I believe that. Do you do drag at all? Uh, I did it only. I've done it maybe twice in my life ever. Oh, okay. So it's not my kind of cup of tea. I did it for um, a party actually for Bunny Ranch, one of the first parties. Oh, okay. That I went to. Okay. So, because um, everyone was dressed in drag and it was uh, Dennis's old assistant, his birthday. Wow. So. Yeah. yeah. I've seen a. I've seen. Um, some people there there's a lot of shows here in the area that do drag yep yeah i'm from the philippines so i remember like um i i went to those a lot when i was young because uh, oh, okay. we have a lot of like lady boys yeah. in the philippines so they like they i mean they look just like 
they are women, you yeah. know? I, beautiful. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, though, on the hair and makeup, uh -huh. you know, what is like a day in the life of Pantera, right? Like when you wake up, you know, how do you get floor ready? Because floor ready and normal ready okay. are sometimes too different, right? Oh, so you want to know my morning routine? Yeah, your morning routine. Like okay. what you, as soon as you get up and you hit that alarm, what are you doing? Okay. I wake up. Okay, I wake up and I'm the sun is shining in my face, <laughs> and I'm a night girl, so the sun shining on my face. I'm actually kind of happy but kind of mad sometimes. It just like, depends. <laughs> yeah, um, and then um, my I can hear my dogs tapping their little feet. Right, so then um, I get up and I go downstairs. I make myself a cup of coffee. Then I meditate for like thirty minutes. I kind of do like a little prayer thing. I have a bunch of sound bowls. And stuff, uh, you know, burn a little sage, burn a little Palo Santo, get some incense going, and then I take a shower. Then I get up and I do the whole get up. Like you know, I'll put my hair up, uh, start doing my face, my makeup, and then um, spray myself with a bunch of perfume. I love perfume. All my clients know I love perfume. Uh, and then I do my hair real big, and then I come to the ranch and. That's the day in the life. I stay here for 12 hours. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, not a minute more. I, I don't leave early, Serena. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, I end up doing that. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a, yeah, I, I love it. I love working at the ranch, though. I don't, I don't really work that much because I, like, you know, I have a life. Yeah. But um but when I'm here it's like it's so it's it's fun. It's so much fun and I wanna have fun. Oh yeah. yeah. Especially with summer kicking off like right yeah. now. I know I'm gonna everything's gonna be cool. I'm taking two months off after this trip. But I'll be back in August and um yeah, and I plan on having fun then. A lot of fun. All the way until Thanksgiving. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. Yeah trying to get her make sure you email yeah email so that way she can tell you yes 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 so <laughs> do you have um do you have uh a lot of girls that come on here and what do they talk about uh it really all depends so okay it depends on their interest you know, and stuff. interest and then where we go okay on the conversations okay so um like one of the other questions which is the next question i'm going to ask you right okay. now is going to be, uh, okay. you know, what is, like, the wildest, most fun, craziest, like, memory you have at the ranch or party? Like, I can't, you can't go into detail, like, what client it is, mm -hmm. but you can go into, like, kind of an idea of, like, what happened at the party, right? Like, I think the Las Vegas thing, like I said, when we, when I went with four other girls and we yeah. all went to Vegas for a week and a half, I can't stop talking about it. It's been about like five years and <laughs> I've just never had a party like it. You know, we were all having fun. We, they have rides and stuff in Las Vegas too. Oh, yeah. And we, we went on all of those and, um, we just like, we gambled, like, you know, we were eating some of the, like some of the best food. Uh, they won the lottery. So they came in here and we also won the lottery, <laughs> you know, um, we got to hang out in Vegas all week. We were in nice rooms. Um, like we, we just had so much fun. We were like just a lot of sex, a lot of, uh, a lot of booze and a lot like, you know, just wild times. And it was great. It was a blast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just like, one of the guys had three girls and one of the other guys who I was with had two girls. So we were, it was always, it was never just like normal, like, you know, like, yeah, it wasn't like missionary all day. Like, no, like he, that they both got double team, triple teamed every day. Yeah. <laughs> they made it fun. <laughs> yeah. That had to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they had a blast too. Kind of sad that ended. <laughs> oh, we went to the corn concert. We saw Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, and you know, you would never think like all these like prim and proper girls would know every word to every song that Corn sang, <laughs> and we were just like, Meh. like you know, we we're just. 
I see a different side of all of you, so yeah, I know, I know sure. what you do. Yeah, we were just like, <laughs> like so we were singing. Stacy went with um, with me, and there was this uh, there's this group called In This Moment. Okay. Okay. And um, we couldn't, we were like to the right. So when we saw it, it said in this mom and we ne we didn't know them. So we were just like in this mom, in this mom. <laughs> and then like, we went to the left a little bit and then it said <laughs> in this moment. And we felt so stupid. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it was, it was embarrassing because we were yelling it so loud. But, <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the good parts of the story. <laughs> like it was pretty funny. <laughs> in this mom it was bad in yeah. this mom <laughs> in this mom in this mom we said yeah it was pretty silly <laughs> i mean that definitely is <laughs> yeah yeah we we definitely made an ass of ourselves that's how much fun we were having we didn't care you know <laughs> <laughs> so um with that too like what is like what is that one thing that you like the most from a guy like you know is it like them coming in and seducing you with flowers and chocolate and being all romantic obviously you said you don't like the wham bam thank you ma'am kind of thing where right. it's in and out right kind of thing but i mean i still know. do well yeah but it just depends on the mood yeah yeah you know but i mean what 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 ties you in there you know is it like is it a large penis like is it okay is that a big thing for you do you like those you know or what or is it you know is that really a it does that really even matter i mean obviously this industry we I, can do whatever but you know in this industry too like um a lot of the girls here we don't we love to cater to men right yeah. like that's our thing we like to fulfill your needs we all your desires we want to take care of you uh I think it is so important to court your lady. And, you know, we don't, we already don't have like a traditional thing going on, you know, uh, it's still taboo in some parts what we do. So uh, it's really nice to get the tra um, traditional treatment. Like, you know, here's some flowers, here's a gift, here's, um, here's, some, here's some chocolates. Like, you know, I had a guy come yesterday and he brought me uh, some Toblerones and I thought that was like the sweetest thing oh. on the planet. Cause I mean, okay. I know now that you read my stuff on the message board where I said, I love Toblerones and Ferrero Rocher's. Um, some guy even bought me like a 10 pound Toblerone bar and um, to be funny. And that was hilarious because I had to eat it. Um, and then I didn't want Toblerones for like the rest of the year. Um, but I think, yeah, I think being courted, it makes you feel important and it makes it like, so the lady the lady wants to spend time with you because you're pulling all the stops, you know? Yeah. I think, yeah, I think being courted is, I don't care about the penis thing. Okay. okay. Um, I, I mean, you know, like big, small, whatever, it's, it doesn't matter because it's really, it's really how you move that thing. Like, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, then you just don't know what you're doing. And if you're here, let me teach you, you know? Um, you okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, a long, long time ago, one of the guys that I've fallen in love with had probably one of the smallest penises, and I was crazy about him. Like, so I don't, yeah. I don't think that matters at <laughs> all. I don't think that matters at all. It's really about how you treat your lady, and yeah. that's what people like. Most of us want all ladies, you know. So, yeah, I like, I like being courted. I like, um, I like gifts. I like, um, yeah. That, that's I guess that's like my love language. Yeah, and I mean, like I was saying earlier, it mm -hmm. you know, ties in, right? Because it builds that better bond connection. For sure. Because then it ties right to the bedroom. For you sure. Know, you now have that actual real connection, essentially. Yeah, and there's nothing sexier to me than a man that pays attention. Yep. And I, I think, um, and if he knows what I want, and if he puts his best, I'm definitely going to put my best. It's... Yeah. It's natural. Like, I'm just going to want to give you back like, yeah. all, everything you've given me. But if you give me nothing, then we have a problem. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if, I mean, you're just, you're going to, you're going to get what you give. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's the same in life, right? Like, yeah. Like, whatever energy you give in something, you're going to get back in. Exactly. So you want to give that your fullest so that yeah. way you can get something like that you know it's understandable too like you know i would think about it like if i was like a client and i would i'm like oh well i'm already you know paying for it you know like 
But I mean, yeah, but we still want to be treated like ladies. But I mean, you're you're doing it, it's <laughs> it's not just like I mean, not to sound cliche from the right. Bunny Ranch's like own tagline, but it's not just sex, it's an adventure. Right. So, we're helping fix and make a fantasy. Right. For and make that a reality for everyone mm -hmm. to basically make it into an adventure. Yeah. Cuz I mean, you can you can if you can think it, a lot of times there's a way we can make it happen here. I mean, we have a fleet of limos, we have yeah. pools, we have hot tubs, yeah. and we have enough ladies to, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. make it most colleges yes. blush, so. Yes. I, I love the whole, like, um, the limo experience, the hot tub experience. They have that. That's that's really hot, and it gives yeah. you that, like, I, I went to go pick up a client before with, um, with a bottle of champagne. Like, you know, that's, you know, kind of like, you know, doing a little fooling around yeah. kind of thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. The hot tub is always fun. I like to have more than one girl in there, though. Is that bad? Not really. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's something it's... about it. Like, you know, and then there's this guy in the middle, and he's just like, you know, it's just like tits and like ass everywhere. Like, and it's just like <laughs> rubbing all on this guy, and he's just like feels like a king. And I think that's what every guy should experience while they're here. They should feel like a king. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll give you that. I have some good friends <laughs> that I can, give, that I can um, give that experience to you with. Does that make sense? I don't know. No, that definitely makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because yeah, you, you always have those people you can work with and vibe with a lot better. For sure. Um, to bring into parties like that. So, I mean, you know, you got to have that connection with someone because right. that's something even different, too. You know what's really cool, though, is that, like, even, um, like, let's say, like, I come in at certain, like, certain times, yep. uh, like, okay, like my trip now sometimes i'll miss some of the girls some new girls that i've never met before and there'll be one guy out there that'll bring us together and i think i'm about as excited as uh, like for the threesome as he is and i'm just like yay 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 like i've never seen i've never met her before i've never seen her before like i know i have an um i have an appointment with uh, ashton gray oh yeah and I, I i didn't really get to know her. i didn't see her i missed her while i was like off for six months and um now someone's bringing us together and we're gonna have a blast because i like her she's sweet oh yeah she's super sweet yeah so i'm getting in her pants <laughs> i'm getting in her pants <laughs> yeah well that sounds like a fun time yeah this is gonna be a fun time i think so well pantera um i appreciate you being on the show yeah. it's so amazing and i you know if you don't know i i've missed this girl she's fun person to be around and you're just pretty good shitting right in the front of the park right in front of the uh, bunny ranch all day in all the, the time. at the patio that's what i was right. like, i was gonna call it the parlor but <laughs> yeah no it's more of the patio i find yeah. her out there <laughs> right, right right yeah um but we'll, we're gonna sound cliche and throw this back towards like the old live stream days but okay. how does someone get a hold of you my email is pantera bunny ranch.com and my twitter is at bunny pantera uh you're better off emailing me though, because I don't really. Res I have a lot of followers on Twitter, so I don't really respond to DMs on there. But uh, emailing me is the best way. And I'm gonna be here August, uh, September. I think my schedule is on the, in my bio. Yeah. On the ranch page. Well, and also um, look on the message boards too, like she was saying mm -hmm. about the Tolbarones. Yeah. I think I said it right, right? Yeah. Um, you know, that's something you can learn about because she has a lot of posts that she actually goes into detail. Yeah. And, you know, and if you read through it, you'll actually learn so much about her and much more about almost everyone out here. But she goes into a lot of good details. Yeah. Um, so that way you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to expect and what you want to do. Yeah, I have yeah. a lot. I have threads for virgins, new time, um, new timers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, new people that come in, uh, everything. Virgins, threesomes, everything you can you can find. I have a post directory on there, so you can see like all my threads and everything. That's good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again. You're and welcome. Everyone, thank you for watching and listening. Whether you're on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcast, um, Stitcher, um, and all the rest, and YouTube as well. So thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you guys, and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.